Hey Frontline fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline. Walking Dead fans, welcome back as well as today, me, Mike Spider Slayer, is going to continue my coverage on The Walking Dead, Here's Negan, Chapter 7. That's right, guys. As promised, I am covering every single chapter on the origin of Negan and how he became the dickhead he is today. So, let's get started with this, shall we? So, in the last issue, we wind up seeing Negan uh, meet this young teenager. Uh, Negan winds up making uh, two zombie kills, but couldn't come to grips to kill his actual own wife, Lucille, who recently became a zombie herself. So, he asked this young boy to do it for him. So, as we dive into this particular chapter, we wind up seeing that the boy is actually leaving the hospital, and uh, we see Negan, and he's kind of just like, wait, he's like, hold on. He's like, where are you going? And the kid's like, I got to go home. He's like, I got to check on my family. He's like, I got to make sure that everything's okay. And he's like, kid, he's like, you can't just fucking leave. He's just like, it's going to be a rough go. And he's like, why don't I fucking drive you? So the kid's sitting there going, okay, that's fine. He goes, but why are you so rude? He's like, he's like, you know, you're not nice at all. And then Negan sits there and he talks to the kid and he says, listen, kid, he's like, I traded in nice for funny a long time ago. He goes, you know why? Because it helps you basically helps you get laid. He's like, funny is the way to go to help yourself make babies, which I thought was hilarious. And so Negan and you can tell that Negan's always been this crazy character right from the start. So as the issue uh, progresses, uh, he winds up and he sits there and he goes, you know, how old are you, kid? He's like, are you 15? He's like, are you 14, 13 or whatever? And the kid's like, I'm 13. He's like, are you a virgin? And he's like, I don't know. He's like, yeah, that means you're a virgin. And he's just like, he's like, you're just acting weird since your wife just died. And he's like, no. He's like, no, no, I'm, I'm fine. He's like, I'm, I'm okay. So as they make their way towards Negan's car uh, in the actual parking garage, you get to see the boy and Negan actually become good friends uh, in a short amount of time. You know, he did Negan a solid. He, you know, he put his wife out of misery and we get to see that it would have been cool to see these guys actually align and be sidekicks for a while. Maybe actually be part of Negan's clan in the future or whatnot. And Negan continues to tell this crazy story about Moby Dick and how it all relates to being a virgin and stuff like that. The kid has a nice smile on his face. And then as we progress towards the end of this book, uh, they start laughing and getting along and it's all hilarious. We see that all of a sudden a walker or a roamer, whatever you want to call it, winds up attacking uh, the boy in the parking garage. And it is hysterical. You're like, oh shit, this poor kid. And he gets bit in the arm and then he gets tackled. And Negan's just watching the whole thing. And uh, right away we see Negan and he's like, fuck. And that basically ends this chapter. Uh, so... I thought it was really good. There's a good amount of dialogue in here. And you kind of felt sad for Negan again. Uh, you know, already he's losing a second person within, what, an hour of each other? And so we can see that I think maybe this is how Negan really becomes dehum dehumanized. Uh, you know, he loses his wife. He loses this kid already. And he's got to sit there and say, hey, I'm out for myself. And if people don't want to go with me, then fine, fuck them. I'm just going to leave them because you're going to fucking die anyway. That's basically the way you, you got to sit there and look at it. So uh, really good chapter. I really enjoyed it. Can't wait to see all these other uh, answers to my questions like how Lucille was formed, how he you know, develops the saviors, uh, things like that. I want to see. And we only have like four more parts left to the story or five more parts. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed Here's Negan Chapter 7. Leave me in the comments below and tell me what you thought of this chapter and the story up until this point. If you have any other questions, concerns, or comments, guys, again, leave me those comments below. And as always, fans, thank you for tuning in to uh, my Here's Negan series each and every month. And this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off, and thanks for watching Comic Frontline. Take care, guys. Bye.